Another week, another pissed off driver. This week it's Eric Almarola angry at Joey Logano. Is he correct in the subject matter? Probably not. Does he have a right to be hot on the mic directly after getting out of the car? Absolutely. These drivers routinely put everything into a race that usually lasts between three and four hours, competing closely against one another, and the moment they step out of the car, they're swarmed by media. Of course they're not going to hold their filter in what they say. The fact that we haven't had more incidents like Dale Jr.'s 2004 Talladega slip-up are an absolute miracle. The biggest factor for drivers being over the top with their post-race statements is the adrenaline factor. Adrenaline makes drivers go into a state of being overly alert. A mundane close pass like what Logano did with Almarola seems to a driver like a close encounter with nearly wrecking. Remember that even though the sport has made incredible leaps in safety, these drivers are still putting their lives on the line for our entertainment. So that adrenaline, that feeling of being on edge in the car for over three or four hours, is a feeling that few have ever experienced. So when I see articles like the one written by Kelly Crandall called Shut Up and Drive Your Race Car, I have to wonder, is this really the way to go about it, to talk about the situation? She clearly knows the danger these drivers are putting themselves into because she states it in the article, but fails to recognize the adrenaline rush factor. Yes, Almarola's comments are asinine when you look at what happened, but they are during and right after the race. If he had kept up throughout the week with these opinions, then I'd agree more. But what do you know? But what do you know? By today, Tuesday after the race, he already had the situation under control. By using Almarola's own words, they're all good. Most of the time, these drivers do this. They're big boys. They can fix their own problems most of the time. And if not, well, we have rivalries. And aren't rivalries what we've been kind of wanting for the past decade or two? Don't we want them to show emotion and passion? So what I gotta say is that people just need to relax and enjoy the potential good that could come from any rivalry, even if their origins are mundane at best. But what do you think? Let me know down below, and until next time, have a good one.